So how to create a CSS3 transform transition fiddle with PHP and MySQL. That's what I created and now I'm going to show you this application. So go to clerkinthecloud.com from the menu click transform fiddle. Now I have to sign up. So I'm going to click sign up and I'm going to enter my username my email address. Okay. So then type in password and password confirm. And then click register. Now it says one new user added. Please check your email or spam folder for a link. Now approximately one minute later in our email we get, I get the email from clerk in the cloud I click the link inside of it and I'm ready to log in so let me type my username password and now I am on the transition fiddle so if I click the start button now it takes a couple of seconds to start and that's by design so I get to translate X by 100% but if I want I can change it by clicking the change button and this form pops open. So up here in this input box I type anything, you can type anything, but if it doesn't work you'll see what's happening. So I'm going to type rotate 90 degrees and you notice how the header gets updated. So I'm going to save that and then click the button. So then at the same time as it translates X by 100% it rotates by 90 degrees. So let me change that again. Take all that off and type skew. This is a different type of transition. Save it. Press the start button. Now well, let's see what a skew by 180 degrees looks like. You see that's a new transition. We played around with it so I'm going to change that again. So when I enter, I'm going to change the timing function to ease in out. Now what this is going to do is going to update a database once I save it. So you can't really see this a very subtle difference here between an ease in and an ease in out. Now let's go and view view source. And we see in our transition image there isn't even a property for timing function. So it doesn't really matter what is in the database because we don't have it the PHP in the document to express the timing function but let's go to the database to see if the timing function in the database has been updated so I'm going to close down view source and over here in PHP my admin I have to refresh everything Under the field of timing function, I do see ease in and out. But apparently I forgot to put this into the PHP. And so that's what we're going to have to do if I decide to screencast this whole project. But for right now, let's go ahead. I'm going to go back to the page and log out. So I'm going to click the log out button and that logs me out. Now really, I should have had a check on that so that when I do click the log out button, a form pops up making sure, asking me, are you sure you want to log out? With a, two buttons on there saying yes and no. If I click the yes button, that logs me out. If I click the no button, it just closes the form. So that's another thing we're going to have to do in the code. Okay, suppose for right now that I forgot my password and I need to reset it. So I'm going to click forgot password. That takes me to the reset password form where I have to enter my email address. And when I click reset, I get the message saying please check your email or spam folder for a link to reset password. And please be patient. This may take a few minutes. Actually, it just takes about one minute. So anyway, I'm going to check my email and approximately one minute later, I'm going to get an email 
to reset passwords. So now I have to copy all this code right here. Make sure you get it all because resetting passwords should not be easy. Make sure you get everything, that little period at the end. So when I click here, I go to reset password. Need to enter the code, then type the new password and confirm it. When I click reset password, I go back. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to log in under my old password. Click login. Wrong username or password. Let me try my new password. Okay, log in and see what happens is I get the same transition that I left with, but I can change that. I'm going to change that to say 90 degrees, change duration to four seconds. Okay, so I click save, click start the transition. And that skews it up by 90 degrees. Anyway, this is the application and it's going to keep playing. That's by design. That's by JavaScript design. It's not really very much spectacular. So when you click the reset button, that resets everything. That refreshes the page. But notice that the transition that we had set before, skew 90 degrees, is still there. That's because we stored it in a backend MySQL table so that it is usable for later. And that's what we're going to do. So also, if you click the log out button and you log out and then you log back in, you get the same transition. So, and that's how that works. So anyway, it's back to, remember, clerk in the cloud, menu, transition fiddle login. So you go down and click the transform login and you either have to log in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, you have to sign up. Okay, so anyway, that's the login. That's the transform transition fiddle. Now, I have a question. If you think that I should screencast this whole application, like this video. If I get enough likes in this video and enough comments, then I'm going to go ahead and screencast this simple application. It requires the basic knowledge in MySQL, PHP, HTML, and CSS transitions. Not very much, but hard part about this it would be the login, the especially the reset password functionality. That's tricky. But the other stuff is really simple. So if you think that I should screencast this, which is a lot of work, I'm only going to do this if more people are going to want to watch it. I'm not going to do it with like only one or two people watch it. So let me know by either entering into a comment or liking the video or you can also go to my website and click contact and send me an email anytime you want. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can go to my Twitter account Creative Clerk and follow me on Twitter. You'll get all my new videos and you can also send me a message there. You can also follow me on Facebook. All my links will be in the description below. So anyway, thanks for watching and hope to hear from you soon.